Now then and welcome to some DIY, my name is Ben. In this video we're unboxing and setting up this, the Insta360 X3. In this video we'll explore its features, modes and how to get started. Let's dive right in. Okay first of all let's jump in and do an unboxing of the camera itself and see what we get inside the box. Right, it's in cellophane. Okay, top of the box, nothing in there. So we've got the camera itself, which is surprisingly heavy. Actually, I wasn't expecting it to feel that heavy. It feels very solid, very solid. Pop that there in front of the camera. Uh, so in the box we've got uh, what looks like an accessory box. It's got this accessory box. Let's see what we get inside. in there. So we've got what looks like a soft sleeve for it, which is really good. A protective sleeve. Put that in there, give that a quick go. In fact I won't give that a go just yet, I'll just lay that on top of it. Uh, in this one we have got the uh, USB type A to USB type C cable, obviously for charging and probably for connecting to a PC if you do it that way if you can do. Uh, then we've got a number of user manuals, quick start guide, waterproofing what to know, safety guidelines, a couple of stickers, which is always great, a couple of stickers there, which is a nice touch, and then it looks like a cleaning cloth inside there, let me just have a quick look. Yep, cleaning cloth, to obviously clean those lenses. So that's everything there that we get inside the box, nothing else, nothing more, uh, exactly what you need to get started. So I think what we'll do is we will plug in the camera just to charge it, because it probably needs to charge it to start with, and then we'll have a bit of a closer look at things. Okay, the camera's charging. So we've got it charging here, plugged in with the red light that's come on with it charging. Uh, so we'll leave that to charge. While it's charged, we want to cover a couple of things off. Um, just what the first thing, why we've got the this camera. Um, we've got it for recording on the channel, so doing different things on the channel. Um, sometimes it's quite difficult when you're recording on your own to get the perfect shot. And with the 360 cam, you can obviously record and then you can frame afterwards in terms of getting your footage sorted afterwards. That was really quite a, an attractive thing for me personally for the filming. But also we've got a few trips coming up this year. Uh, so we've got a couple of holidays away with the family. And I just thought this would be great to capture some awesome footage on there. Um, so yeah, been looking at it for a while. Saw the, the previous models, um, but I thought with the X3 with this, seemed like certain improvements that they've made obviously with it being a newer model. Um, that this was kind of the right time for us. So we jumped in, got it off uh, very.co.uk. I'll put a link below to the, where we got it from. Uh, managed to get a little bit of a discount off very.co.uk for the one we got. Um, so yeah, that's why we got it and where we got it from. Uh, just a couple of features you probably know already because um, you can get them off the Insta website, etc. Um, but the main things are the 5.7K 360 recording, which is brilliant. Um, you've got the two, obviously the two lenses, two half inch lenses. Um, and you can do 72 megapixel 360 photographs as well. I didn't actually realize you could do that type of photograph. Um, and the, things such as the invisible selfie stick, still waiting for the invisible uh, for the selfie stick to come in the post, um, but we do have another one we'll be able to use. And then the waterproof element to it was really attractive for us as well. Not that I'll be doing any kind of um, diving videos because without the case, the new invisible case that's come out, um, I don't think it's great for diving, but it will be good for jumping in and out of the water and doing stuff with the kids in the water, which is brilliant. Um, and then the control I've seen, I've not used it yet because I've not set it up, but the control and the editing capability within the Insta360 application looks brilliant with that AI. Uh, it does say, I think it does say AI powered editing. Um, so really looking forward to doing that. So we'll let this let this charge up. We'll jump into it. We'll, we'll go through the quick, uh, quickly through the different modes get a little bit of footage. I'll try and record some of the footage on the camera to put on this video, but this video very much is just kind of unboxing, first impressions, quick setup, just to have a look at this camera. So I'll wait for it to charge and then we'll jump into some uh, demos. Okay, things have been charging now for a little bit, so just to show you a couple of things, I'll go close up on this camera here. 
we've got the battery case there that pops, sorry, not the battery case, the battery that pops out, and there's a micro SD slot just in there, if you can see that. Uh, it's really easy to do, and that pops back in. Um, and then the, the little latches flash red, just to show that um, they, they can, let me show you. So they will show a little line of red if you've not closed it properly, um, until you fully click it in and the red line does disappear. So there we go, that's charged, memory card in, and uh, ready to go. So I'm gonna press and hold, I, I probably should look to the quick start guy, but I haven't as usual. I'm gonna press and hold this button here. Blue lights, come on. And we're up and running. So you just need to choose language, so I'm gonna choose English. Please download the Insta360 app in the App Store, which we have done. So you need to do that to activate the camera. So we'll do that now and we'll get the uh, application set up with it. Okay, screen recording on my phone. Um, so we're just gonna go into here and we have downloaded the Insta360 app, so let me just show you. So we'll go into Insta360, open up the application. Agree to this. Uh, we need the permission switching on, which will allow, allow the location and allow notifications. All seems uh, steady away. So it's loading now. I have an uh, Insta360 camera, yes. Allow. So it's connecting up to the device now. Connected to the app, connect to the Insta360 app to control your camera. So I'm gonna click on the blue tick. So just going through that process now, connecting to the, uh, to the device. It's going to jump off the network back onto the different network to connect the cameras up. It's found the new firmware, which was expected because obviously it's uh, probably been sat in its box doing nothing for a while. So we're going to download the new firmware. Okay, so the firmware has been downloaded. It's now just upgrading on the device. So there's a uh, the um, percentage going up there on the device and it's doing the same on the phone so hopefully that shouldn't take too long okay we're all connected up there now on the um, phone app to the camera got to just go it's quite intuitive step through the steps it pops up asking you to connect you've got to register with your email address and a password it sends you a verification code enter the verification code and you're all good to go so at the moment I've got my phone uh, share uh, screen share here you can control the actual uh, camera from your phone. So I've got it on this just th standard 360 mode and you can see I can rotate there around on the camera. So the camera's obviously right in front of me here. So I can rotate that round live to see what's going on. Um, so that's all working fine. So if I just step back into the application just to show you. You can see in there I've set myself up with my account in there, uploaded a profile picture, registered the device. You can see there that it's connected. Um, I'm not sure if you can change, I, it might hopefully be a change the name of the device, it's a bit random, um, but you can see device firmware, the camera storage, etc, etc in there, so I need to do a bit of a deeper dive into the settings and stuff just to see what's going on in there, but setup of the camera, connected it to the phone, super simple, really intuitive, uh, really easy to do, no problems there. Okay, we've covered off everything there, what to cover off uh, for the basic setup, basic getting started, unboxing out of the box see how we go see how easy, easy, easy it is to do so the moment we're recording on the main camera i am recording at the same time on the 360 cam as well so i will put this footage into this video hopefully just to show you what's going on i've not done anything other than gone into the camera uh, function on the on the application hit record and that's all i'm doing so you can see hopefully down here i've got the live mode of my myself on there looking at me uh, it's a little bit closer to my big nose but you can see me on there um, so yeah, overall, this was supposed to be a really quick video, unboxing, setup, just to show you what you get in the box, what the device is like, how easy it is to set up, that was all. Uh, so hopefully it's been informative showing you how to get things going. The next few videos, we will dive deeper into all the settings on the application on the phone, 
uh, see what else you can do. We'll jump through the different modes. So I want to get outside and do some recording outside of it rather than being stuck in here. So we'll get it outside, do some recording of, of just around the local area. See what we can do with it, try out the different modes and see how we get on. Hopefully the video's uh, been informative, hopefully you've liked it. If you have so, give it a thumbs up, give it a like. If not for any reason, give it a thumbs down, give it a dislike. Let me know in the comment section why. If you want to know anything about the camera, about what I've done, about what I should cover in future videos, hit those, uh, drop those questions into the comment section. I will get back to all questions and comments and use any feedback in future videos. Um, if you want to follow the Houston DIY journey along for more videos on this specific device, but other product reviews, other DIY projects, baking, cooking, air frying and more, hit that subscribe button and we'll see you on the next one.